Most of the soliloquies we've looked at have a strong and clear through line and argument. But sometimes the situation which a soliloquy explores is much more muddled. And sometimes it may be a terrific mixture of, say, comedy and seriousness. So, Judy, come now and let's do Vala's ring soliloquy. Here's your ring. Thank you. She's disguised as a boy. Malvolio has brought her a ring from Olivia, who's fallen in love with her. So what are your main feelings when you come to this soliloquy? Well, it's a wonderful opportunity to share just what a dilemma she's in with the audience. And she actually can speak directly to the audience and say, this is the situation I'm in. And how would you like to it if you were in this That's situation? Right. <laughs> share, as ever, our word is share. I think if you, if you go for the mixture, share the mixture of the funny side of the situation and the horrors of it, so that it's a mixture all the time of the pain and the comedy. Yes. Okay? I'll try. I left no ring with her. What means this lady? Fortune forbid. My outside have not charmed her. She made good view of me. Indeed, so much that sure me thought her eyes had lost her tongue, for she did speak in starts distractedly. She loves me, sure. The cunning of her passion invites me, and this churlish messenger, none of my lords ring why he sent her none. I am the man. If it be so as tis, poor lady, she would better love a dream. Disguise, I see thou art a wickedness, wherein the pregnant enemy does much. How easy is it for the proper force in women's waxen hearts to set their forms? Alas, our frailty is the cause, not we. Of such we be. How will this fadge? My master loves her dearly, and I, poor monster, fond as much on him, and she mistaken seems to dote on me. What will become of this? As I am man, my state is desperate for my master's love. As I am woman, now alas the day. What thriftless sighs shall poor Olivia breathe. Oh, time! Thou must untangle this, not I. It is too hard a knot for me to untie. <laughs> 